When I was five years old, my mother taught me how to make my own bed. Ever since that day, and it's closing on our 50 years now, I have spent every morning performing the same task. I wake up, I use the bathroom, I come back in my bedroom, and I make the bed. Every single morning for 50 years. Now, if somebody would come up to me and say, good news Vin, thanks to this new system I've developed, all you've gotta do is make your bed one more time, and then from that point forward, all you've gotta do is click this little button and the bed will make itself. You will never have to make a bed again, ever. Oh, by the way, won't cost you a nickel. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say I'd leave it that opportunity. Sadly, no one's coming to make your bed for you. <laughs> but in today's episode, we're gonna talk about the next best thing. Today, we're gonna talk about the value of collecting and then reusing assets. Now, as simple as this concept is, I didn't stumble upon it until about seven years ago. For the first 23 years of my career, I simply drew what people asked me to draw without really giving it a whole lot of thought. But then the day came where I found myself sitting at a desk in Smuggler. It's a production company in Hollywood. I used to do a ton of work with them. On that particular day, I was working with a director named Chris Smith. Super nice guy. Chris was in the process of reciting his shot list to me, and I was sitting there jotting down notes. At some point, he asked me for a close-up of a phone in somebody's hand with the client's website on it. He then remarked, there's an original frame for you, huh? I bet you've never had to draw that one before. <laughs> and now, I haven't had my coffee yet, so the joke just flew right over my head. And like an idiot, I replied, nah, you know, believe it or not, I pretty much draw that frame every day. Chris stopped and said, yeah, Vin, it was a joke. I'm sure you've drawn that frame a thousand times already. I laughed and said some variation of, oh, right, sorry. <laughs> but then after Chris went back into his office, I stopped and said to myself, wait a minute, why am I drawing the same frame a thousand times? I mean, it makes no sense at all. Every single day on every single job, the point will come where somebody will ask me to draw a close-up of a phone in somebody's hand. I realized in this brilliant moment of clarity <laughs> that a foolish consistency truly is the hobgoblin of little minds. I immediately created a folder on my computer, named it, predictably, cell phones, and then I added the frame that I had just drawn. Over the course of a week, every time I was asked to draw another close-up of a hand holding a cell phone, I would add it to that folder. Today, that folder has 116 drawings of cell phones from every conceivable angle, and I have not had to draw a cell phone in close to four years. Realizing that cell phones were far from the only thing I was redrawing, and recognizing the time-saving potential of reusing assets, I began dissecting all of my boards at the end of each day and categorizing the assets. Over time, my folders grew to an unruly number, so I began subcategorizing them. Today, my five main folders are animals, effects, locations, objects, and people. I personally found the location folder to be the biggest time saver. Drawing a cell phone in somebody's hand, I mean, it takes like five minutes, but drawing a city intersection, I could take 45 minutes. Same is true about a suburban neighborhood or any aerial drone shots. But putting them all together and using them frequently can end up saving you hours. And when you're under a tight deadline, that can buy you a lot of breathing room and make all of the difference. A year or two ago, I got the bright idea that, hey, maybe I can sell this asset collection, make a little bit of money on the side. But like most things in my life, I just never found the time to do it. So ultimately I decided, fuck it, I might as well just give them away for free. I mean, a, they might be able to help you out in that little storyboarding journey of yours, and that's always nice and fine. But B, honestly, what I'm really hoping for is that they'll inspire you to start your own collection. These assets, they all work seamlessly for me because they're all drawn in my personal style, right? So if I drop a suburban neighborhood in the background and then I draw my main characters just walking around in the foreground, it's gonna blend perfectly. Now, this may not be the case with you. <laughs> if your style is radically different than mine, then these assets, you know, they made you stand out like a sore thumb, which is you know, really not an ideal situation. So it would really be to your advantage to start collecting your own drawings, dissecting them up, and storing them away for future use. Over the years, my collection has grown to be fairly enormous in scope. So I figured I'd start by giving my city backgrounds away today, and then every two weeks or so, I'll release another section. If you want to be notified each time I release another collection, follow the link below, shoot me your email address, and I'll keep you in the loop. And in closing, I would like to say this. For the love of God, kids, make your bed in the morning. It takes five minutes and it's good for your mental health. Trust me, I got no reason to lie to you on this one. Okay, until next time, this is Vinny Delay with Big and Grow Rich.